Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. I love reading Indian eyeshadow palettes. I do a lot of those, or at least that's the main thing I do on my channel. And I love doing multiple eye look videos. So if you guys are into that kind of content, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I love to have you guys here. But for today's video, I really want to do a video on this. And it's been released like maybe a month ago or so, maybe two months. But I really wanted to do a video on this. And this is the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Rich Romantic Palette. So for this video, I done two eye looks already, but I didn't do eye look tutorials on them, unfortunately, because I really wanted to enjoy this palette on my own time. But I'm going to create my third eye look with you guys, and also I'm just going to show you guys maybe side by side comparison with a few palettes that are comparable with Glaminatrix, at least so you guys can see how closely they look similar or not. And maybe I'll do comparable swatches too, but I don't think I'm going to find palettes to compare this one in my collection. Sometimes I compare other palettes from different brands, but I just mainly want to just focus on the brand alone. So this palette retails for $62. The magnetic pants, this palette is magnetic just like their other ones, but they did downsize to 22.5 pants. And it comes with one dual chrome, four multi-chromes, one sparkly shimmer, one metallic and eight pigmented mattes. The very first one I want to show you guys side by side is to, of course is with the nearly natural palette. And oh, you guys can see this difference between their pan sizes with their old one and their new one. I actually prefer the bigger pan, but who needs that much product? It does take a while to pan. But look at the comparisons with the Nearly Natural and the Rich Romantic. They look like they complement each other very well, but I don't think they have any similar shades. But you could use these two together. If you already have this palette and of, or these two palettes, of course you could use them together. I love combining palettes because you get to do a lot more looks that way too. And yeah, this is how the two palettes look next to each other. I know they look like they might be similar, but they're not. I have them comparable swatches with them, but I just did a few finger swatches with the Nero Natural and just reminded me okay, with the formula and the shimmer the shimmer formula as well and then the side by side comparisons also with the sugar and spice palette so the sugar and spice palette i have not used i'm hoping to use this later this month i have some pal palettes planned for this month already but it's gonna be a busy one for me just me getting back into being more consistent with my videos as well but right here's the side by side comparison with the sugar and spice i'm not sure if i'll do comparing the swatches i will try because i love taking pictures too of palettes and share my Instagram. <laughs> I love doing it before it gets dirty. These how are the two palettes look like. I think they're completely opposites, these two. And let's see, and also I guess we could compare with the Nocturnal palette. I think with the Nocturnal, it's completely different palettes as well. They're not gonna have similar shades at all. So I think they look completely like opposites as well. This one's definitely more of a colorful palette. Versus this one is more of a neutral girly palette. So those are just a side by side palette comparisons. I'm not sure if I'll add in some comparable swatches, but hopefully I do. But I'm ready to do my third and final eye look with this one. <sighs> and I can't wait to share my thoughts about it too. I have so much to say about the mattes and the shimmer formula. Let's do something different. I haven't done this. So let me get the shade Devotion first. So we're going to do more of a colorful look with this look. And yeah, I still have creases from my, cause I put foundation or my concealer, it's my concealer. So that's why I'm getting creases. But yeah, I guess we'll do a colorful look. I think the first look was very light. The last look was very, the second look was very, it was kind of grungy a little bit, which I love. I really love the look. That look was yesterday and I loved it so much. And this orange shade, the Vulgian is very pigmented. And I'm just building it up. Yeah, this is like probably the most pigmented shade I would say so far. It's a nice orange. I'm a sucker for neons, especially with oranges or pinks. Oh. Mm. Or greens too. I love neon greens as well. And I will say you get a lot of kickback, but I am using a fluffy brush. I don't tend to use fluffy brushes, but I'm just trying to get out of my comfort zone. And use fluffy brushes a little bit more. I think I'm going to get the shade Lover. We're going to do a very dramatic look, I think. I'm going to go straight into it. Maybe I might add another shade. Maybe the purple shade. But let's see how this one looks. So I'm just doing a color split look. And yeah, this shade's pretty pigmented. 
and I'm just gonna buff this out and blend it into that orange mm -hmm. okay I'm just softening it up that edge between that orange too yeah you get a lot of kickback with this one and I'm just gonna do the same thing over here it's really dark so you have to like blend it into the orange so that's what I'm doing right now okay so I'm just blending it and I do like the blend it's like a nice mm, like an orangey burgundy blend let's build up that orangey shade now that shade devulsion I'm gonna go back into this shade and build it up with a more of a tapered brush this is the blend bunny b1 brush and if you use a denser brush of course you could build the pigment the pigmentation of a certain matte oh look he's that isn't that beautiful this might be my favorite look depending on the shimmers i feel like with the shimmers you have to really get to know the shimmers in this palette because some of them do seem they shift the same way in certain lighting but then a different lighting they look different so that's one thing i'll give you guys right now but i'm gonna wrap up for my review after i'm done playing with this one so with the first two alex i use glitter primers i'm gonna use this real quick and i'm gonna focus on one eye real quick because my camera does not last that long it's already dying but and I usually let the next glitter glue just um, dry a little bit so it could get tacky. You're supposed to wait instead of putting the shimmer on right away because then they could just mess it up with the shimmer. Well, I was thinking of using magnetic. I really want to use magnetic. Even though I used it for the inner corner, we got to use it on the lid. And then we could use ooh, maybe romantic in the inner part. But let me see how magnetic looks on the end. I'm just going to put it. So this is right here. Oh, it has that green shift and it's so pretty. It's so smooth. I'm using my fingers. I'm going to put it on mostly the whole lid, but I'm just going to top it off with a shimmer on the inner part of my lid. But that is beautiful. It, oh, the shifts are very, very oh, taking my breath away. Uh, well, the inner lid, I'm not sure what shade I should use. Maybe I should use seductive. Let's see how that looks. It's more of a yellow. Hopefully it looks good. Let me use seductive right here. Or I have, I'm having second thoughts. I feel like I used that yesterday. It's fine. I still think this look is pretty different. Hmm. Uh, let me use the shade, I guess, captivating for the inner corner. And I'm just going to use my finger just to blend that out. Might have to change this look a little bit. I'll probably add more depth with the shade Lover. But I'm just going to finish up my look because my camera is dying. But I'm jumping back on camera because I just want to finish the look with you guys on this side. Because, oh my gosh, I'm loving it, man. Okay, so I did change up the inner corner. The inner corner, um, I just tried to take it off what I had earlier. I was the shade... I believe it was seductive. I had seductive earlier, so I tried to take it off, but it's still underneath there. But I'm going to see. Hopefully, it doesn't look too different. I'm going to use the shade Romantic. It's such a nice, fiery shade. And I'm just using my pinky. And just like that. It might look a little bit different because I don't have the other shimmer underneath. Maybe a little bit um, orangey. I think in combination with the other shade, it kind of toned down the oranginess. Well, yeah, it, it toned it down a little bit, but it's really bright, very bright neon orange, this shimmer right here. For the bottom, I just used the shade Devotion, like I really packed it on, blending it. And then I just used a little hint of Lover, just in the corners right here. I don't want to darken it too much, but I just want that orange to pop, have an orange, more of an orange moment. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So... If you try to pack on this shade, you're going to have some fallout. I had a little bit there while I was trying to do this on the other side. But I'm just going to really build up the shade. And to this corner right here. 
All right, and then I'm just gonna get a little bit of lover, not so much, and just just get the little edges right here. I don't want to darken the orange, just just so we can emphasize the corner, just a bit, but not too much. And then what made it really pop? This is the only orange gel eyeliner. Well, I, actually, I do have another one, but this is like my brightest, darkest one. It's the old inside one. I don't enjoy the formula but i'm just trying to use this one up because this one it's still giving pigment this is the number two orange shade and it's super pigmented this one but it's just dry some of these shades are too dry but this one at least i get pigment out of it but it's yeah it makes the orange pop out even more and the only other thing i did of course i added more depth i got the shade lover and then I just added a little bit more depth right there. I just got the shade Lover and just really added more extra depth. And into this corner right here. Just blending it into my crease area. Very softly. So you could build up this shade. But it's not like super dark. But you could build it up, you know. So just like that. So I'm just going to do my eyeliner and add some lashes. And I'll bring it back to give you guys my final thoughts. Actually, I'll, I have to share my other two looks that I did, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Right here is the finished eye look, and yeah, it's super pretty, super girly, sunset vibes, fall vibes, all at the same time. And I really love the pop of orange right here. And I didn't get to talk about the first two eye looks I've done. I completely forgot. But with the first two eye looks, they were really easy looks. I think this is, a, this is the most colorful look out of the three. The first look... Let me just scoot over here. <laughs> the first eye look, it was more of an angelic look, very light. So I used these shades right here. I used this matte, the lighter matte, and the shimmers. I used this pink, light pink matte, and this shade right here. And for the inner corner, I believe it was that shade. And then on the bottom, I used similar mattes, and then I think I used this shade to darken it up just very lightly. And that look was super, super light because of this shade right here, Captivating. It's such a light, light pink base. Like, it's very light. Such a light, sh not like light shimmer, but very opaque in, in uh, how light it is. Oh my gosh, look at this. How white base it is. And I'll just do it right here. Yeah, you guys could tell. It's so pretty, but very, very light base. You have to be careful with this look. It's it's so opaque. I'll probably put this on top of a dark shade, maybe. See how it goes for me. But that was the first eye look. Very easy to do. Second eye look, I focus more on the browns and, and the purples. And I use this whole column right here. And then these two purples and the shimmers. Well, I use that shimmer and I believe the shade Charmy. In the inner corner, I used the shade Rich. It's such a beautiful sparkly shade. I put it from the inner corner to this little arch for the second eye look. And I really love that look. That was a look I recorded in talking about my any palette releases and the Black Friday haul for my last my last video that I recorded, my last video. That's the second eye look with the Glaminatrix Rich Romantic palette. Very pretty. If you guys want to see that palette, like more me talking. Uh, but yeah, I really love that look. All the looks were really pretty, including this one. But now I'm ready to talk about the formula and everything, what I think about it. So first off, the pan sizes. They're really small, but I feel like it'll be a lot easier to pan on these shadows, of course. I do prefer it to be bigger, but uh, it's really hard to pan. Unless you focus on the palette, then you could eventually hit pan. But maybe this way, I'll hit pan in one of these shades someday. And the mattes, they say they're highly pigmented, but I feel like these mattes are not super pigmented. I had to really build up these matte. Besides this shade, I mean, I do have to build this up a little bit. It's pretty pigmented on its own. But if you want to brighten up the using the, this shade, then you could build this one up to be more opaque in color, more neon vibe. And the two purples, I was really surprised to see two purples. I thought they were going to be more pigmented, but they were lacking in pigmentation. So I did have to build those purples up in my second eye look. And even the brown too. I don't think the brown is super dark as well. So I feel like overall the mattes, you have to build them up. Unless you want to do like a light look, then that's fine too. But the shimmers, they're very opaque and very smooth formula. 
and they are also sparkly but I'm going to emphasize how smooth they are as in you guys can see in this look there's not going to be texture on the shimmer it's more of a sh of a smooth formula and you can see the shifts this is like one of the shiftiest shimmers this is the shade magnetic it shifts to like a, a green to a burgundy and I think an orange very beautiful shade or purple too very pretty and let's see and also another thing too that i really want to mention i noticed i guess after i swatched it how similar these shades are romantic charming and seductive so these three shades are here they look similar in one lighting so that's why you guys see my palm swatches i love doing my palm swatches so i can show off the shifts so in a certain angle they all look very similar but in a different angle as i uh, move my hand you guys can see the shifts in each of the shades they're completely different but i'm just saying that if you use these shades on the lid they might look so they might look similar if you use um any of these three shades like if you use two of these shades they might look too similar so i would highly suggest not to use these shimmers together on the lid if you want to add more depths to your look make it more like a different gradient of colors unless you want to the shades look really similar on the lid and that's fine too but I highly suggest to use these uh, separately <laughs> so that's like my biggest critique on this palette I think this palette is such a romantic girly palette and I know there's a lot of fall palettes out there so comparing it with the Harvest Moon palette I'm not gonna do comparable swatches because I think they're completely different palettes this one's such a huge palette completely different this one's more grungy very impactful shimmers if you want a variety of textures and you might want to look at this a lot of different colors too very the shimmers they look really grungy they are grungy it's like a colorful grungy with the shimmers while the mattes are very dark grungy uh darker in pigmentation while this one i feel like this one's more uh wearable and if you're more of a neutral lover and you love the nearly natural i love the near nearly natural very much that's like my favorite neutral palette then i think you'll love this because even though these shades are really, they look intimidating, sunset colors, like they look like, they look really pigmented, but since the formula, it seems like it's like a buildable formula, I feel like a neutral lover will love this just to have like a hint of color in your eye looks, and plus the colors are just so romantic, uh, because all you see is just sunset vibes with the looks I created, and I think the shade Allure is such a stunning shade. I didn't expect it to love it so much because it comparing to the other shades it looks really lackluster like it being swatched so that's why I decided to use it yesterday my second eye look just to give it a chance I want to test out all the shades I believe I tested out all the shades there's only a few shades I have to test out how it looks on the lid but pretty much I used all the shades in this palette yep I used all the shades so let me just show you guys how this one looks it's a pretty khaki color and oh I swatched that white shimmer but this one's super pretty I didn't expect it to love it It looks so pretty on the eye like it's not too much it just has that it makes like a little bit of a glow oh isn't it stunning and you could always like top it off with one of these shimmers like this let me see let me try magnetic shade so I'll get magnetic and then I'll just try seductive on the other side so you guys could see some magnetic on this side just to compare like if you just want to add a little bit slight dimension to that shiver and then let me use the other shade seductive i believe oh this one's more brighter and orange see the difference so if you want to do that you could do that as well uh overall i think this palette is really nice is my favorite glam and nature's palette i have to use it more i do i do enjoy having it i love the nearly natural and a nocturnal and this one's like third place unless i use it more then maybe i'll love it even more than those two than those two other palettes that i just mentioned but that's gonna be it this is gonna just be a fast review so i really hope you guys find this review helpful also another thing i just want to mention i am waiting to compare it with the an early cosmetics fall remastered fall magic remaster palette i want to compare it with that one valley i just want to compare all the fall palette basically this one it just screams a little bit fall, but actually the looks you create, it's just such a great fall palette. But that's basically all I want to say about this palette. So 
I hope you guys find this video helpful, this review, how Florida Eye looks inspirational. If you guys are new to my channel, I love reviewing indie palettes. That's my thing. I'd love to have you guys here if you guys stick around because I'm going to be doing a lot more. But that's going to be it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so much. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.